G'day, and we interrupt this documentary to bring you an update from room 406. This morning, when I was watching the Formula One, I went to the bathroom, came back. As I closed the door, I heard something fell, but I couldn't see anything, so I didn't worry about it. Then two hours later after the race, I've got dressed and got ready to go out and found out the door was broken and I couldn't get out. Now this is more or less a prison cell <laughs> designed to keep people from escaping. So I uh, kind of was a bit concerned for a while. Um, I got out my computer, I was going to call reception on Skype, but someone passed by and I was knocking going, Oh no, hola, help, I'm stuck inside, can you tell reception? So they went and told reception, reception came. They were trying to open it with the key, but it wouldn't work. And then so in the end they had to just kick the door down. It took about half an hour. I was well away from the door, so it didn't kick me as it burst open. And then uh, obviously we changed rooms. I'm now in 407. So, geez Louise, it was a bit, bit of a concern there for a while. I thought I was going to be stuck in there for God knows how long without anyone knowing. Um, but it all worked out well in the end and now I've got this story, so it's all good. So yeah. But if you don't hear from me again, <laughs> maybe you should ring the hotel, double check that I'm okay. Alright, ciao for now.